This is part three of Data Goes Ballistic. Should start working any second now. He jumped. He was restrained and could not see. Data, are you okay? Hold on, I'm going to activate the visual cortex. He blinked several times as his eyes got used to the lights. He was in a lab attached to a diagnostic frame. Several engineers looking at him with relief. Geordie walked around in front of him, putting his hand on Data's shoulder. I'm glad to have you back, Data. What has happened? Well, as far as we can tell, someone attacked you a couple of weeks ago. It was right after somebody trashed Maddox's lab. They made a pretty good getaway, but I guess they made a couple of scratches in the floor of a Jeffy's tube on the way to your quarters. They apparently stole a nano tool from the lab to disable your neural net with, then left it under your bed. Not too smart, but they didn't leave any fingerprints or DNA. They managed to cut a bunch of your primary cortical neurostans, but they sure had to remove a, a lot of components to get rid of them. I think they must have turned you off, then cut the strands, then turned your switch back on, but they didn't realise you reassemble your head afterwards. Maybe they got scared and ran off. Your phase was also on the floor, set on full power. I know you always keep it on stun, so they must have taken it, maybe to vaporise you, but they didn't for some reason. None of it makes sense. Don't you remember anything? Data blinked and moved his head to one side, trying to reorient himself. What has happened? Then he remembered. A thought crossed his consciousness. He was severely damaged. He should ch tell Geordie. Maybe be deactivated until his damage could be assessed. Then something in the back of his mind spoke up. A desire to live, not to be deactivated. His lips moved, seemingly of their own volition. No, Data lied. My memory record for that day seems to be corrupted. Let's see whether your sense of balance is impaired. You don't feel dizzy, do you? Data, effective is best clueless android look. I have not yet experienced dizziness. I do not know whether I am capable of it. Okay, Geordie laughed. Sounds like you're back to your old self. Geordie started releasing the restraining clamps. Geordie? Data asked, standing gingerly. Is the emotion chip still intact? Yeah, amazingly. They cut about seven nanometers from it. In fact, as far as I can tell, the circuits they cut don't seem to do anything. I'm afraid we don't completely understand Dr. Soong's work. Whispered to himself. The operating temperatures of the emotion chip is 316.22 Kelvin and the coefficient... Sorry, I didn't hear your data. Well, I'm talking to myself again. I seem to be having random memory surge concerning the optimum basting temperatures of partition chips on the planet 62 Melvin. It is efficient. Oh, is that what planet they're from? I love those. Maybe you can make me some later. Of course. These humanoids would believe anything. Now, where did that come from? Data did not remember having such distaste for humanoids before. He looked around. The lab was not familiar. Are we on the Enterprise, Geordie? Yeah. I'll have to show you around when we are finished here. Of course, it's not finished yet, but the upgrades to the... I may join you later. However, I must locate my belongings and find my quarters. As long as you certify me fit for duty... I must be prepared. Geordie looked a little worried at Data's attitude. Well, I can't vent any defects in your brain. As far as I can tell, everything checks out okay, but Data, you've suffered some pretty severe damage. 
it knocked out your whole neural net for weeks. I'm going to have to run some more diagnostics on you before I can certify you fit for duty. Data would have to act very bland now. I understand, Geordie. I will begin running a self-diagnostic. His eyes went unfocused as his head flicked front and centre. A moment later, he came back to himself, accessing a long list of Instead of incorporating them into his memory, he deleted them and decided to lie about them. I detect no residual damage. I believe the damaged filaments were redundant systems only. That's relief. I'll still need to run some diagnostics of my own, though. Of course, Geordie. By rerouting current, he was able to trick the diagnostic instruments during several hours of evaluation from Geordie. Intriguing that my internal clock no longer functions normally. Before the engineer gave up. Well, I can't find any reason for your memory problems or anything else wrong with you for that matter. Of course, we don't fully understand Dr. Sung's work, as far as I can tell. You're fine other than memory lapse. It was probably caused by a power surge to your primary memory cells when you were attacked. He paused to disconnect the leads from Data's head and replace the access panels. I'm going to 12 forward for dinner. Would you like to take a quick break and join me? I would like to, but I must take care of some personal business. After I locate my quarters, it may take some time. Okay. See you around, Data. Goodbye, Geordie.